Look at all the South African artists that won the Grammys, the BETs, and the billboards and whatever. That's traditional in, in sounding a, music. Yes, it's it's your Black Lady Mambazo. Smith, Black Mambazo, mm. Soweto Gospel Choir, mm. Java, Shoma Josie. None of those people sound American <laughs> or whatever. So. You don't even have to ask. You're all welcome to the master class as we hatch the past, present while we craft. A Rap is what you do, hip hop is what you live. Yeah, I'm glad you got it right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we talk the walk while others do the opposite. Shoot, uh, we talk that talk because we walk like that, nigga. You know what I, I mean? Know. That's what it is, man. The Masterclass Podcast, episode 46, Rashid K alongside... OG, triple, triple, OG Sam K, you know what time it is. Back at it like I'm a struggling, recovering drug addict. Not the 25 rand cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. wild though, that homies are getting arrested for that. Are you what? And, sure. and, and he paid, he paid like 1,000 rand bail. For 25 rand. Um, I don't know if I believe that story though. I don't know how true that shit is. I don't think there's cocaine for 25 rand. Do we care though? We don't give a fuck. Do you think Danger is a fire spitter though? You got to give him his credit. Like who Danger? Yeah. He spat some nice shit. Who Dangerous? Gefar. Gefar like. Like of of. That is nice with it. Like like Big Nas was was, was the shit. Yeah. yeah. Who was your favorite from Big Nas? Armashesh. Why? Everyone says that and I feel like it's like a, you know, it's like a, okay, because he's past R.I.P. Mashesh, but... Nah, nah. No, okay, you give him the credit, no, but, but, like, but he wasn't wait, the best. In his prime, in his prime, Ar Mashesh was, was, was that dude. But Mampincha was also the, that dude as well. He came out. He Ma, was like the... Like, Mampincha, like the, Mampincha the has, Mampincha has charisma. You must understand that, like when you listen without watching these niggas, you get to hear... Who's what? Like when they're solo, or you're saying like... No, 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 no. And, and when they're performing, Mampincha is nice with them Kaba game. <laughs> <laughs> them Kaba yeah. game. Word. And, and, and Danger as Danger's well. Danger's got the bars, I think, for yeah. me. And then Arma Shesha was that guy who's like... He was Arma cool. Shesha, he Arma was, like, Shesha cool, was cool a lyricist. Arma Shesha, you must go back to Big Nas and listen to I've that. I've been, show. like I've listened... Because the, the debate is always Arma Shesh is the hottest guy, hottest lyricist on Big Nas. Not on Big Nas, on the, on, the, on, the, on the Kwaito scene. I think on, Danger on, was more hotter no, than Untuan. No, Arma Shesha was one of the best lyricists on the Kwaito scene. Not just Big Nas, not just in a crew, but in the whole game. Because he, what, he wrote for the homies on that. No, no, besides that, like his, his, his writing skills and his delivery... You know, it was not in your face like your mom pincha. Mom pincha can say nothing and you can, and you can still be like, ooh. But then you Danger, why, okay, why don't you speak about Danger again? Because Danger would do that whole mom pincha and he had Arma Shesha and mom pincha and one dude. Yeah, Danger, Danger and fuck, why are we discussing this shit? This is a we're hip hop talking, podcast. Yeah, but we're talking rap. We're talking yeah. lyrics. Nah, nah. But we're talking lyrics. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> we're here. Welcome to it. You know what time it is. Yeah. It's the Masterclass Hip Hop Sessions. We're always debating. We're always fighting, though. Yeah. Talk to him as shit. That's your problem, Rashid. What? You. That's why we're always debating. Nah, never there, man. The <laughs> truth. The, the truth. truth. The truth damn hurt. Yes. I got you. How you doing? How you doing? How you feeling? I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm feeling great, mm. man. We back at Amped. We back at Amped. <laughs> like we never left. <laughs> <laughs> we never left, though, to be honest with you. Big shout out to everyone who peeped the last episode, man. Big shout out to Togoza as well. Yeah, yeah. The no, love has been crazy, fire. man. That was fire. From the last episode. I'm really enjoying watching it. Yeah. You know, um, I must say to to Vin Kualaiva, ne? Mm -hmm. he, when you send us music for the free period, Make sure that it's not copywritten. Yeah. You know? So we can, you know, monetize this this, this podcast thing we do. I hollered at him about that. Like, and you yo, sort it out now, yeah, right? Because that's a dope it. episode. We're going to be doing a lot more of that. We're going to come to your hood as well. We're going to do Evuta soon. We're going to go to my hood. Yeah, yeah. Chill there for a little bit. Shoot something there. We're going to go to Pretoria. And then hopefully we can hit up Durban. You can invite well. us in your hood. We'll, we'll come too. Yeah. Hit us up, man. Comment section. We'll see <laughs> what it look like, Dougie. Big shout out to Solikto. So, like to Jin, our main sponsor for yeah, the show. They're in the game. They've been holding us down. Friends like, of the show. 
week in week out yeah friends of the show friends of the show you know something that's been on my chest and that's why i'm saying friends of the show right mm-hmm. i was thinking yesterday no? you've been in the game for a long time yes you've seen things you've experienced things you've seen motherfuckers you've been stabbed in the back you stabbed niggas in the back no nah, i never did no 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 this <laughs> I you, got more stab wounds in my back. Yeah, but I mean, you gotta retaliate, right? So you do what you gotta do. Black ball, motherfucker. How 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 do you tell? Because I've I've seen niggas, I've seen that situation, black ball. Yeah. But like, you know, I'm in a space now where I've been in the game as well for for some time. Yeah, I'm seeing how niggas maneuver. Mm-hmm. You know, as scary as it is, it's hard to also keep your level head. You know, but now I've been thinking about how do you tell the difference between an industry friend, a business friend, and an actual friend. You know what I mean? That you meet in the space. You've been here for a while. <clears throat> There's You've no seen friends this shit. here. My fuckers pretend a lot. Why you think people closest to you never retweet your shit? Which never is crazy. repost about your podcast. They never re- that's, retweet that's your shit. They claim to to be your peoples, but they don't support your hustle. That's you fact. don't want their money. You just want them to 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 retweet or like or share but they never do that shit when you meet motherfuckers on the street yo that podcast is dope I said, but why don't you say it in public so that mm. other people can check it out you know niggas is fake they don't do that shit yeah. and then they're gonna claim they're your people they're your people no bruh like I'm with you almost every week we drink together we chill together but you act like you don't see this shit you don't see this shit and then you'll tell me about it when we're chilling right yeah which happens all the time to me as well I see it you know what I mean but I'm I'm never the one to be like okay my real friends should be retweeting and reposting my shit because my real friends are like niggas. You don't even I, have to remind him, them yeah, if, they, if they are real friends. You don't even have I, to you remind don't have to them. Tell them they should be doing yes. stand. You know yes. what I mean? But what I'm saying to you is, having grown with people that I feel are real friends. Yeah. Those are people who, you know what I mean. If the part wasn't working out and I needed 20k, they'll yeah. hook me up with 20k. Yeah. Whether they watch it or not, you know what I mean. Yeah. Those are what I. But now, now I'm struggling to figure out the difference between someone who wants to fuck with me because the pod or the radio thing is working out or they want to fuck with me because yo, they genuinely feel like this nigga is cool, like we can kick it. How do you know that, okay, how do you, what what do I look out for to see that, oh, these niggas are trying to fuck with me because I'm where I'm at or these people are actually trying to fuck with me because of what we can do together. How do you tell the difference between the industry friendship and the real shit? You, you can't, you can't. Like, that, that's a very difficult situation. It's like, when you when you're in the limelight and you start getting girls, don't fool yourself and think I'm hot now. No, it's because of your position, you know. Yeah. So, so if you got the, the hottest check out, yeah, yeah, it's the same. It's the same with niggas. Niggas wanna be around you because you have a radio show or you have a TV show or you have something they can that that can benefit them. Okay. Something they can use you for. And then how do you spot that? Okay, you this one. You can't spot it. You, you can't you see can't that shit. You can't spot it because you, you think, in your mind, you co- you're going to think you're cool. It's the same, the the example I just made. Like, you you start getting girls. Hey, stranger. Hey, it's been a long time. You think you're hot. You think you're the <laughs> shit. Can't you know? It's, Post it's, one picture, you're getting likes and hearts and yeah, all that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? You think you're in the game. It's, 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 it's that the position you're in. Which is that, crazy, that, that man. That attracts so, all this shit. You know, so, it attracts the real and the fake. Which is so it's 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 very difficult to differentiate. Now I want to bring it to hip hop, right? Yeah, I'm a young artist that blow up like that. Yeah, I'm starting to get that kind of love. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I got the number one album on iTunes, uh, Spotify, all that bullshit. And how do I now like know how to maneuver as a young artist who's sort of struggling to see who my real homies are, who my real friends are? Because even for me as like where I am, I, I know who my real friends are. Mm-hmm. But then you have that industry friendship where you can't tell, should I make this person a real friend or should I just keep them as an industry homie? Keep, keep motherfuckers as, as, industry, Down there, right? as industry homies, you know. Because people are there to use you, you know. As soon as you start, we, we spoke about Blackie before, you know. Mm. Motherfuckers jumping on his dick. Right now, Pause. yeah. R- right now, Land Rose is popping. 
and motherfuckers act like they didn't know him before. Which is crazy. Just because he has a little hype, everybody wants a feature. Everybody wants a verse. Everybody, mm. yo, um, find Land Rose. Yo, who's this kid? He's been around. He's been doing this shit. He's been you know doing I mean? this Y'all shit. Y'all haven't been watching. So that's what mm. I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it's such an b- important conversation. And people who saw him mm. turned a blind eye. And they didn't then they see him popping now. They act like they didn't know him. They just saw him now. So please get him for me. So then what does he do? Because here's that's the dilemma is in now. Does he just make these people artists that he works with? Or does he actually create relationships where he can build business from it? It's up you to him. I mean? it, it depends on how smart you are. If you can see through the bullshit. Yeah, you, you know, gotta you gotta be able to see yeah, through this crap. The man. industry is full of bullshit. Wow, man, a lot of lunches, a lot yeah. of promised lunches. See your lunch. Yeah, what fucking lunch? I'll see you. Let's have drinks. What drinks, nigga? You yeah. just saying this shit because you see me. Every right time now. we meet, let's work. Let's work. Yeah. That's the worst one. Yeah, that's let's the work. Industry talk. I don't even say that shit to niggas anymore, man. I'm yeah. like, yo, let's drink. See, you know, you. We'll, we'll, we don't have to work for shit. <laughs> you know. So I've just been really pissed off though because I can sort of see like in different areas of my personal life and in the music industry where I'm seeing young artists come up is like there's bullshit people in your life. A lot of them are just there to pick up what they need to pick up. Yeah. And especially as a young up and coming dude who's hot, you need to look out for that type of stuff, man. It has killed a lot of artists. Yeah. A lot of homies have gone down because of the company that they keep. Yeah, cuz cuz cats will will if if you start popping They'll chew your flavor and spit you out and move with it and leave you there. It's crazy. Do you think you can make it though alone without having to be able to have the smart, you know, frame of mind to be able to decipher the difference between true friendship, industry friendship, business friendship? Can you move alone without any of that shit? So that you can pop either way and be like, you know what? I don't need anybody. Everybody needs somebody. You need someone, some man, which is yeah. crazy, which is unfair. Yeah. You know, but you you need to be smart enough, like to see through people. Yeah. Do I need this guy or he needs me? Okay. What do I benefit? Where do I get? So yeah, th- they say the age old question, the most asked question in the world ever is, "What's in it for me?" Yes. And if there's nothing in it for you, then then there is no friendship that's, or that's, anything. That's the question you must answer every time you write a proposal. But don't be a dick either, right? No, I'm saying. Every time you write a proposal, mm. either for sponsorship or endorsement or funding, the first question you need to answer is what what's in it for them. For them, they can't just give you, like they need to benefit from you. From you, you like they're not be, they're not calling you in for nothing. Yes, it it must be tit for tat. Got you. I got you. Yeah. Look, I'ma look out for these snakes, snakes in the grass. I see you, motherfuckers. I see y'all, man. Let's get the class in session, broski. Let's get it. Ain't nothing on your mind. No one pissed you um, off? I'm um, not. Nah, never that. Never that, right, I'm glad to see you're not angry today. Yeah. That's nice. I always speak my mind. <laughs> I speak my peace before I rest in it. Yeah. How you feel about, uh, um, um, you know, like, people commenting on the podcast and what we've been saying and shit like that? It's been 46 episodes. You know what I mean? How you how you been feeling about the comment section? I am mad at that. Yeah. You know, most... Good reviews. It's, it's, it's 99% positive. I don't even think there's that one percent that's not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Big shout out to my homie Bash as well, man. We love you on this podcast, though. That's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's get the class in session. Ring the bell, please. Cheat. What's good, man? What's what, on your mind? What's though? happening? What's, what's happening? What's the point of call? Point of order? <laughs> <laughs> what you What you thinking, Doug? I think I feel like also yeah we've spoken about so much yeah on the part like if you haven't gone back to all the other episodes to just pick these brains. Please do because clean. Yeah. Like Slick was telling me the other day, he said, if he were to open a music school, he would take all the masterclass um, episodes and turn them into a manual. Easy, just. We should do that. Fuck Slick. What does he say? <laughs> <laughs> Slick, Slick we're to... checking your idea. Slick, yes, yeah, gone, brother. It's gone. <laughs> Never tell us nothing no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's you... Slick? Who's Slick? <laughs> I heard nothing from Slick. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Yo, but on the real though, like I was thinking about SA Hip Hop. Yeah, as usual. As usual. <laughs> Why are we struggling to crack it internationally? Mm. What do we have to do to export SA Hip Hop? 
Yeah. It's a tough question. It's a very good question too. Um, a lot of work needs to go in. Like, I think we need to go back, Doug. Mm-hmm. We need to start again and rewrite the script. You know, um, let's not forget where we come from. Yeah. The history is so strong in that I think in the history of South African hip hop yeah. is where we find how to export South African hip hop. Yeah. Because what we had, I think, back in the day, the things that you guys are putting up at the museum, you know, with POC and those kinds of, the purpose we had in our music is yeah. not the same purpose we have now, I feel. Yeah. So in a sense, we need to start again. Let's go back and review what we do. Let's find our sound as a hip hop fraternity. And I think from there, we can start maneuvering into trying to make hip hop big here so that the rest of the world can start picking it up. Because I don't think we need to export. You know what I mean? The music, the music should export itself. We don't have to like send mm. our music anywhere. They should be coming here for this shit. Yeah. Here's my question though. What will your reaction be if you were to hear Nigerian Ama Piano? I'd be a bit disappointed. I'd be touched. Okay, actually. pause. Mm. Do you think that's the same feeling? When Americans get to hear <laughs> hip hop from other places, yeah, word, word. I I do think so, especially the hip hop that sounds like their hip hop. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, so so so. In other words, you're saying we can't export what they already have, have. in that side. That's exactly and what they it is. do it better. That's exactly what it is. We can debate who does it better, but it's something that do they you think? Do. do you think? Um, let me take you back to Amapian. Do you think any foreigner can do ama piano better than South Africans? No, nah, never. Never that. We can do this all day. We so can do this all day. So isn't, we'll it, isn't that how Americans... You can do it differently. Is, is, isn't that how Americans feel about hip-hop? I'm sure it is. Yeah. I'm sure it is. That's why they say that... Um, you know, I, I did an interview with Nasty. Mm. And he was saying when he got to the States, he realized that every corner in New York, there's a rapper. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not sitting there waiting to hear what South African hip hop's got to bring. You know what I mean? When they do hear someone sounding like them that's not from there, it's straight trash from the jump. Yeah. So here's my take on this thing. Mm. It's pointless to call to call it South African hip hop if it sounds like Atlanta. There's no trace of South Africa of South Africa in it. Hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? So, hmm. we, we've had a, a blueprint before that we always ignore if we want to export our shit. Look at all the um, South African artists that won the Grammys, the BETs, and the Billboards, and whatever. That's traditional in, in sounding a, music. Yes. It's, it's your Black Lady Mambazo. Smith, Black Mambazo, mm. Soweto Gospel Choir, mm. Java. Show my Josie. None of those people sound American <laughs> or whatever. So the hint is there, but we're ignoring it. So for us to 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 export SA hip hop, South African hip hop, we must make it South African hip hop. I get you. I hear that. I hear that. Now, when you say that, because hip hop is hip hop at the end of the day. Hip hop is hip hop. Now what? Now what makes it South African? It's identity. Because ladies, Lil Smith, Black Mombazo, all the people you named that have won Grammys, mm-hmm. they're not hip hop per se. You know, Shoma Jones is not hip hop. Don't they, tell they, me Shoma They're not. They're not hip hop. Yes. What Lady Smith, Black Mombazo is doing is not done anywhere in the world. For sure, hundred percent. And it's what, not hip hop. It's, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not. Hi- what what Soweto Gospel Choir is doing is not done anywhere in the world. What Java is doing is not done anywhere in the world. What Shoma Josie is doing is not done anywhere in the world. Okay. So, I'm saying, if we need to export, that's that that's a blueprint. Like you need to be unique. You need to be South African. And that's what I'm asking you: is what makes that music South African? What is it? Is it the sound? Is it the drums? Is it what what makes them not be? What makes them sound South African? Like you're saying, they've got a distinct thing that you can acknowledge and identify with South Africa. What is that thing? So that they, if you they, can... they they doing they doing South African 
music, the music that originated in South Africa that you can't find anywhere in the world, that on its own, it's 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 enough to identify it as South African, hundred percent South okay. African. Okay. Even though they do different kinds of South African music, the people you've named. Y- yes, even though they do different kinds. Mm. Lady Smith, Black Mamba Zotira uh, recorded a song in America with Paul Simon. Mm. It still sounded Shout South out. African as fuck. Okay, I got you. I got you. And you're saying when we now adopt, I'm I'm saying sounds. Yes, that's I'm when saying, we fuck it up. I'm saying beat makers, producers, composers, whatever you call them, must explore more South African sound. You know, okay. the thing of trap is 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 popping. We run for trap. Drill is popping. We run for drill. We'll never sound original. Okay. And it's not a new thing. Even even boom bap was not our shit. Mm. Boom bap was from New York. For sure. You know, boom bap was popping. We ran for boom bap. But we just rapped like they do. We rap like they do. For sure. Especially your era as well. Like the cypher era. That's all New York type shit. If, you know? Every era. Like boom bap, trap, drill, whatever. Whatever kids are doing. Yeah. It's not from here. Let me ask you something now, right? Yeah. Let's say you take... I show my Josie. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're saying she sounds distinctly African. Is it not only because she's speaking Vanak? No, it's because she's using gom, piano. She's using South African music. Mm. So you're saying in America they it's won't... Not, it's not it, the language. It's not the language. That's what I'm, that's what I'm yeah. asking. So in America, if, if Blackie, for instance, and we always use Blackie, I don't know why. I wanted to use Nasty, but like Nasty doesn't rap in Vanak, right? Mm. Goes to the States, does his thing. But Blackie goes that side and, and does Kupuga and Gwen Zegil and all these songs. Yeah, yeah. Do they respect him more, even though the music sounds the same as they... We don't know if it has reached that side. It should have by now if it was shit hot, right? Like a, a hot song goes, just goes. Doesn't need doesn't anyone to push it that much, right? That them... You, you know... Blackie and, and so, a nasty... Sorry to disturb you. Sure. You, know, you know what I noticed last week? I saw... DJ Jaws and Major League DJs in the US. In New York, yeah. Playing on my piano set. Mm. I was like, fuck, we are screwed. These people used to be hip-hop DJs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. These these are the people who were supposed to export SA hip-hop and they are out there in the world playing piano. Mm-hmm. The hip-hop DJs. Mm-hmm. Like, if our own people can't export our shit, who will? That That's what I'm saying to you is, like you said earlier, how do you export something that you don't own? You don't export something you don't have. We don't have, we didn't start this hip-hop thing. Piano's easier to export because it originated yes, here. Yes, it's, 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 it's very easy. But yeah. like, I just... It's very tough to export SA. I don't have a problem with, with, with Gabza or Porisa going to America or London mm. playing piano. You know, yeah. but if you get a hip-hop DJ going there and not playing not presenting SA hip hop and play piano. That's a different but story. We don't, we don't like, know that also, right? Yeah, yeah. He could have played a piano yeah, set. We spoke and then about a that. You, you'll time. never you'll never get you'll never get um a black coffee going to Ibiza or Miami and get there and then he plays so hip hop. A uh, hip hop or Mascani. No, he won't, he won't. You Even know, if he's it's just that it's just that we have we have a lot of wave riders and cloud chasers. They jump into whatever it's hot. I hear that, I hear that. Yeah. And I, I don't want to call the homies cloud chasers, you know what I mean? Mm. Because... W- w- whatever whatever you want to call them. Yeah, but... But you get my point. I get your that point, for sure. Black Coffee has been Black Coffee and he's never changed ever since. I'm saying with, with the homies, right? Mm. For them, like you're saying, it's 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 a money thing. It's like, let, let me get what I need to get, whatever genre is hot, and I'm able to be in New York. I'm going to play whatever the people in New York want to hear whatever the hottest genre in South Africa is at the time. I don't think homies box themselves in to be like, oh, I'm a hip-hop guy or I'm a... You know what I mean? It mm-hmm. just happens to be that when they are overseas... No, it wasn't It wasn't personal. It play. wasn't personal um, specifically to those guys. But what I'm saying, it's 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 consistent with hip-hop DJs. That they flip They're the only ones. They're the, the only flip-flop. ones who flip-flop and say, <laughs> I'm not a hip-hop DJ. I'm... I'm a DJ in general. Some they say some shit you'll never hear from Black Coffee or any other or, or Shims are yeah. saying 
I today I feel like playing this or I feel like that, playing that's that. That's very true. And it would be nice for them to get out of the country and play South African hip hop, right? Yes. That leads me to my next question. Let me segue into the fact that what would or who give me some examples of people you think make South African hip hop that is truly definitive as South African hip hop. You know what I mean? I can say it's Java for one. South African sounding hip hop. Show my choice not for me in terms of South African hip hop. No, I I I didn't mention them as as hip hop artists. I was make that's why I, the I sound. also uh, that's why I also mentioned uh, Lady Smith Black Mambazo. I was mentioning South African music in general, not just hip hop. When it comes to hip hop, mm. we have a long way to go with it, it needs to start with the beat makers, the producers. Okay. You know, we once got it right at some point. I don't know how we lost it because the Karakara oh, era, too easy. the the Karakara too era, easy, more rough. those niggas were making that yes, kind of music. Like like the Karakara era, that was a South African sound. Do you think that was exportable? And if it was, why didn't it get exported at the time? I think I think niggas were still on the experimental stage. You know, they 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 were not sure whether it was gonna work or not. That's why albums sound different you you do you try this sound on this album and then next album it's a different sound becoming a, becoming a pop star baby uh, you, you, <laughs> you know what i mean so i think producers we need more south african samples you know mm, do we, we need samples or do we need some new 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 music that can be sampled later in life you know what i mean i'm, I'm saying we have Let's be creative, our, our, our music library has a lot that we can explore. Yes, for sure. Y- y- you know the brand of us is the. But but like, why we don't have to do that because we, we have don't creatives have, we, now who can create a brand. No, of us. no, I'm saying we, we we don't have to. You know, but we don't, we don't have to. Um, what I'm saying is we don't have to sample the same music, American music that American artists are sampling. Are sampling, yes. Yeah. That's how we're never going to export the music. Yes. You know what I mean? But as soon as we can get a distinct sound, like yeah. Amabiano. Yeah, if, if you're going to explore it, if, you, if you're going to export it, if if you take a Brenda Fassi song or Ivan Chaka Chaka song or, or Sipo Mabuse song and export it, they never heard it before. It's new to the world. That's true. I yeah. mean, Drake's doing that right now. I mean, yes, we we hear a lot of we, we hear a lot of just, American songs that are redone. Yeah, and we think they knew until we heard. Oh, they got it from here. Yeah, you know well, what I do know about that is that like there's a whole new market, right? So the music yeah. we listened to growing up mm-hmm. is now extinct to someone who is 10, 15 years younger than us. They're yeah. hearing way too sexy for the first time. Yeah, when we heard that shit way back as a pop yeah. song, that's, you know that's, what I mean. That's, it's so perfect time. That, it's, but, it's been. But but what I'm saying to you, Sheed, is that what happened? If Ngalagata came out in two thousand, what happened to Ngalagata's dog? No, nah, I'm saying if Ngalagata came out in two thousand and one, that's twenty years ago. You but can you can you can you can, you can you use can, it, but you, don't. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying what happened to our Mandozas? Where the fuck are the niggas coming through with brand new sounds, brand new music that can be sampled twenty years from now, where we can forget about a fifty fifty or a tornado or a, you know a Zix or a Zola. Like, can we move on to the new kids who are going to create something new? The same yeah, thing that we those can, guys did. But, but, but we can't we, we, we can plan for another 20 years when we haven't done nothing about what, what happened in the okay. past 20 years. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. And, I'm, and I really am part of that cause. I'm just like, let's do that. But also, let's be more creative. Let's be new about this shit. That, that's why I said it starts, it starts with, with the producers. And... Sampling, I'm not saying sample everything. If you if you have a 10-track album, you can sample four or five songs. And, and, yeah, that's and, all. I'm okay yeah, with that. And the rest be original. I'm not okay. saying everything must be a sample. I'm okay with that. AKA you know, does it very well. Yeah. What I'm saying is, let's explore more South African sounds, whether it's new yeah. or sample it's been done before that's for sure i bring let's, up the, I let's bring get up the, something that we can export to the world to the world man i bring up the the aka situation because that that lekker lekker fish and chips bar is mm. so heavy mm. but it flies over everyone's head like a lot of people think that that's such a whack bar or whatever yeah yeah but there's so much to that that's part of south african history it's a bit of a sample as well you know yeah. what i mean it's there's 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 we need to more artists to look into the history of our music yeah so that they can take it forward and then create something that will be sampled later yeah. in life and that's all I want you there's, know what I mean otherwise a, we're never exporting nothing dog. yeah there's a guy who asked me he said that there's a there's a a vendor rapper 
he sampled vendor sound mm. traditional sounds in, in into his hip hop mm. but he's struggling to crack it who who is it who will i, I forgot, forgot the name. name but you know what i said to him i'm saying sampling alone won't make you pop just because you're sampling the sound that people know it's not gonna yeah uh, you, for example you sample a traditional sound and you're talking about fucking bitches and what now the you content the on, content on is black going mambazo beat, it, yes you, know on, I mean? you can't disrespectful you first can't, of all yeah you can't sample black mambazo and talk about fucking bitches you know <laughs> so I said to him like the content is also important. <laughs> that shit is funny. <laughs> I'm just imagining somebody doing that. That that's fucked up. You, you Don't not, do that. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So, you need to think it through like okay, this sound needs this type of content. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. You cannot just sample Brenda Fassi or whatever mm. and 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 think you're going to blow up while talking your shit your own bullshit on yeah. that shit all right let's move on to um some solutions right yeah what do we do now we've spoken about the fact that we we're struggling to get our music out there mm-hmm. um we've spoken about the fact that we're not we don't want to get our music exported we want people to come here and bump our music yeah our artists need to get booked in dublin you know what i mean in belgium mm. in switzerland and go perform yeah not for south african crowds in those european countries but for Europeans yeah. it must be a concert you must fill up the O2 like Drake does Reese you know what i mean i'm talking to you dog yeah. niggas like that should be there right now yeah what are the solutions for us to what what are some of the things you think we should drop and should do so that we can sort of get our music all over the world bro i think we need we need to work together as a team um from producers to singers and rappers DJs spinning the records you know to compilers and 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 radio radio stations spinning the, the shit on a podcasters to, yeah you know it 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 needs to be a community it shouldn't be a niche okay if you want to hear the sound go to maboneng or go to bram you'll hear it it must be like an all round thing You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The reason we play the tracks and them it's because they're on radio and TV every day. It's because uh, it's the DJs demand, right? play them at the club all day every day. We need to do all those things with our own music. Mm-hmm. Original South African music. I hear that. I hear that. And it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Because the demand I feel right now is not there. You know what I mean? Like um like you're saying people always shit on DJs for not playing as a hip hop in their sets at clubs mm-hmm. but it's cuz no one wants to fucking hear that shit when you can just play a drake song that we all love yes I mean? because because that's why i'm saying we should ho- all it's easy it's easy to to vibe to a song you hear every day on yeah, the radio yeah for sure so, so you're saying we just pump the music yeah so if if the compiler is not part of the movement they we, won't get it we the the people won't get it i got you you, you know what Makes i'm saying cuz cuz the dj must play the songs that people like you and know? the promoter of the and club the promoter wants, 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 wants the club to be packed yes yeah you know what i mean so everyone must come in to play to make it happen but you know what it is for me as well yeah. how we export sa hip hop and sa music like i always preach on this fucking podcast for the past 46 episodes your music has to be dope you have to have good music bottom line that's all that matters bottom line It, like we don't even care who you are where you live where you come from but when you have dope music we're going to follow and we're going to love and we're going to appreciate your journey if your music is dope so for me that's the only way we're going to export music or have people come fuck with us yeah. as if you guys hop in the studio and drop shit hot music and that's it for me nothing else bottom line or else we're going to forever be Follow. chasing sheep the level of drakes and the kendricks sheep. We're gonna be sheeps yeah i know there's a nigga right now trying to drop a uh, kendrick type album that morale and big step is mm-hmm. someone's doing a double disc right now as we speak you know and drop that shit nigga do that but also come back find something that works for us that we can relate to that we can love even if it's about you you know what i mean so that's what we're looking for good music let me out of here man
We out of here. Ah, for sure. For sure, dog. We filling up stadiums. Our stadiums. Our stadiums first. Mm-hmm. Not just Cass. No. no one's filled up a stadium since Casper, no? Nah. That's fucked up too. So no one saw what Casper did and decided, look, I'm going to do the same shit. Y'all niggas don't want to be followers, nah. What's wrong with your hip hop cats? Y'all should have done that shit. Y'all should have, someone yeah. should have filled up a stadium. You, you, you need numbers, man. Numbers my ass, dog. You, you saw the numbers, nigga did it. Man. He did it. I yeah, he did it because he had numbers. I saw a tweet the other day that's mm. like, oh, Gonje, I once seen Casper in your vest, body, Jay-Z and Beyonce at FNP Stadium. And I'm like, hell yeah, he yes, did. He did. He did. We were all there. We saw it. Yeah. Why are there not people trying to, like, <sighs> that's why we can't export our shit. Like, no one's proactive, my nigga. No one's proactive. Everyone's chilling. Chilled. Just dropping music. Think it's cool. Shit ain't cool. It ain't cool. Let's move on, man. Free period before we get mad. At this motherfucker. <laughs> Free period. <laughs> what up, though? Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? I got, I got my girl from Cape Town. Paula Dio. Dio. Dio, Dio. Paula Dio. Shout out Paula. Paula, yeah. ne? Yeah. I spelled it wrong on, on YouTube by mistake. I added an O at the end. And then it showed me some other like Nigerian cat, and I'm like, hey, well, who's this? <laughs> Why we? Really? <laughs> and I checked out. She's cool. Yeah, she's 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 new mm-hmm. on the come up. Look out for her. She has um a single called "I Can't Lose." I can't lose. I yeah. checked out the video. Checked out the video. I'm sure you guys are seeing it as well. Nice video. Nice video. Yeah, got that basketball vibe that we had at Tokyo yeah. last week. You know what I mean? I like that. I like that about her. She so, can sing too. She can sing too. Mm. So I thought since we showcase new talent and she's um up and coming female rapper dope song dope video as you can see in the mm-hmm. background yeah i like the vibes she's from cape town she's from cape town ah yeah where did you find her online yeah man because i've I seen she's like a tiktok vibe no? she's got, yeah like, she's that like, tiktok sensation yeah what do you think of the bars though because the song that, that can't lose song now mm-hmm. the second verse is fire but the first verse is like lukewarm to weak for me there's a room for improvement yeah. yeah yeah i like her singing though i like that she sing raps yeah which is really cool and the videos and she's pretty that always works you know what i mean mm-hmm. so i'm hoping that paulo paula 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 dior mm. shout out to paula dior from cape town we feel you dog we like your shit I Can't Lose. That's the name of the song. I Can't Lose. Very that's motivational song. song, actually. Also. Yeah, yeah. I feel like a lot of people have been hating on her. <laughs> and then she's like, I'm going to drop this shit for you guys. You know what I mean? So, and yeah. I, saw, I I see the numbers are good on YouTube. The oh, views. Word? Yeah. So check that out on YouTube. Paula Dior. I Can't Lose. She's on the camera. That's the free period. We got producer-wise. Producer-wise. On the production. We got K-Master. K Master, tell me about K Master. Tell me about K Master. K Master. Add more. The legendary K Master. Add more. Hey man, he. Add he's more. been. He's been. <laughs> right? He's, he's been more. Zagwe. Zagwe's <laughs> personal producer from uh-huh. day one. Say that shit though. Yeah. He deserves all the flowers. You, you, you know what Say I'm that saying? Batting your call, my Benzan. Sure. You know, all the way. Uh, Questa. Mm-hmm. Produced for Questa. Tell K One. Yeah. A lot of cats in the industry, Kid X, K Master deserves his flowers, Give man. His he's flowers, been handling man. Duncan and them, mm-hmm. the Durban for scene. A long time. He's been holding it down. For one thing, a while. one thing I've always appreciated about K Master, when I checked out some of his latest stuff, I'm like, this guy's ear for music is different, man. Yeah, like it's different. He knows what's gonna be dope. He's a musician. Yeah, on that pause. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to K Master. We see you, bra. Oh man, we're giving you your flowers. Yeah, you you deserve them, my G. Like all the work you've done, I don't think nobody speaks about you like they should. You know what I mean? And, it doesn't um, get enough credit. Like you need it, mm. bro. He yeah. needs it, and I do know that it's not done for him. Mm-hmm. There's a lot more music coming through. Uzakwe is like a serious boy right now. They all trying to work. The O three one is also busy, busy. They busy. You know what I mean? They He's busy. K Master busy. Zaku and the, um, K Master is actually part of the um, Rap Effect team. Zaku's team. Word up. So they busy with events, that side, hood versus hood. Pushing the rap culture. Rap Effect, man. you know. Pushing the culture. The same shit we do here. The Masterclass Hip Hop Sundays are coming back on the 31st of July. Masterclass Hip Hop Sundays. 
at M Studios. No longer mabuneng, but we're gonna do them right here. Yo, it's gonna be crazy. Quick one before we move on to the review. Yeah, when are we doing the 031 versus the 012? Because we have to. I've been getting calls from Pretoria on some. Yo, we waiting for your rap effect cat. I'm not a rap effect cat. Ah, you they must talk to Zakwe. I'm with I'm with my niggas from the 012. You with them niggas from 031. I'm there. I'm there to support the movement. I'd be. I'd be in Pretoria. I'd you be support hip hop. Hip hop wins at the end of the day. Yeah. No, I was there because Zakwe invited me as a judge. I'm not from the O three one. But like, if you're already a judge that side, then you've picked your side, Sheed. No, I haven't. You have. I haven't. I'm everywhere. When I'm in Cape Town, is that my side? Ah, facts. Facts. Yeah. All right. We'll do that though. Rap effect. Shout out to them as well. Shout out to the O one two boys as well. Um, in there and them they're trying to push the ciphers out there as well yeah really cool to see I'm hoping we're gonna make this shit happen it's gonna be very cool yeah cool as fuck Cyphers but in the meantime us. let's handle the masterclass hip hop Sundays 31st of July July there you go next month so you got some money to save up come through come see us we're gonna have some dope lineup it's gonna be crazy that's gonna be insane, gonna be insane. the first show we're gonna make sure it's, gonna be insane. it's out of this world yeah. yeah no 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 mediocre yeah, no party boy business. No, no caca. <laughs> Yo, you know. let's move on to the review. Let's get into the review, my dog. Who we pizza? Who we pizza? Oh, we're staying in the 031. 031. We're staying in the I told you he's an 031, boy. Nah, I'm... This is I'm, your review. I'm, I'm, I'm an 011 original. <laughs> <laughs> we're reviewing Golden Black. Um, The album is called Album Done. Yeah, man, those are my homies. Shout out to the homies, Golden Black. There's three of them. Boy three crew. There's the three of them. It used to be four of them. Shit. Maybe something happened. <laughs> okay. Big shout out to Golden Black, though. Four yeah. of three of them. Album done. What do you think, dog? You get into it, because, yeah, I have a what lot to say. What do, you, what do you mean, coach? I have a lot to say. You have a lot to say. Mm. Golden Black album, album oh, done. It's... I think it's the nicest trap album I've heard in a while. Word. Yes. Okay. Have you been listening to trap music? Yes, I have. Okay. All the time. And you think nothing this one... comes out I don't listen to. Okay. You know, but when it comes to trap, like the beats, the beats are banging mm. on the on this album. The beats are insane on this album. The beats are banging. Whoever for me, ne? Whoever yeah. produced and made the beats on this album needs to get exported. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Like, in terms of getting the trap style right. Shit. He did the that. The beats are bang. He did that. Why not? Why not? He the did that. Best trap beats I've heard in a while. Okay. Damn. Okay. You liked it then. I like it. You enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I struggled with it, my nigga. I, I struggled with it. And I love Most the of the time, 70% of the time, it was the beats. Okay, which that is which is not mood. like the most positive thing about anyone's song. Like if you drop a song, Rashid, I'm like, oh, this beat is fire. But the li- you know, what I mean? the beats are fire. The beats are insane. That's what I'm saying. Whoever made the, yeah. like the album, who whoever executive produced and produced that album, the really well done. Like fire. as an eight track piece, mm-hmm. really nice, nice eight eight pack. You is know what I mean? Ten. It's eight, isn't it? Eight. Is it ten? Ah, it's ten tracks. I must have missed two of them joints then on that shit. You know what I mean? Because I saw mm. eight on that. No, I'm tripping you, you right. Yeah, eight, 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 eight. I was thinking, damn, now, <laughs> now I'm tracks. reviewing an album where I didn't listen to everything. What, <laughs> yeah, what eight, the fuck am I eight doing? Tracks, eight tracks. Eight tracks on that shit, Rashid. Uh, for me, nah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I came into listening to the album based on the fact that I thought Cream, that, that song they, did, they did dropped last year. Yeah. Cream, you know it? Cream, yeah. where they sampled the Wu-Tang. Yes, yes. That's probably one of the nicest South African samples of an American song I've ever heard. Yeah. You know, and I went into this album thinking I was gonna get more of the same, and then when I listened to it, it was Migos and Future infused into one, and like tried to be localized, which ended up sounding whack to me. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it sounded like like everything was, and I was just like, nah, gents. Well, that's, that's these guys are rappers. These guys are murderers. Like you put these niggas in a cipher, they well, fuck that's, niggas that's, up. That's, that's what you just did, that's every trap artist. What? Dibbidi, dibbidi, dibbidi. Ooh, dibbidi, dibbidi, dibbidi. No, no, not golden every, black though. Everybody, 
They trappers not though. Not golden play. They're not trappers. They trap. They are not trappers. Those guys are rappers. They've got two songs. I actually wrote this shit down because I was actually upset with this man. Like shout mm-hmm. out to my homies. They're my niggas, and I'm gonna have to put it like it is coming from me. But born this way, that's the best trap song on the album. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the seventh seventh song. Yeah, um, yeah. Track number seven. Yeah, well, there I was like, yeah. okay, if I was executive producing the album, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Not that I'm saying I shouldn't, but holler at me. Mm-hmm. I would have taken almost everything off that that album and like left that as maybe a track number three, four. Young child. And Uzi is nice as well. They trapping in Vanek. They. That's hard. why I enjoy that song. That's yeah, why I'm like, they okay. trapping in Vanek hard. It's like what we were speaking about. Trippy is that they bring Trippy brings the. Lo- trap into Soweto. Into Soweto. Yeah. Which they they brought the trap into the 031. Yeah. I felt like, oh, is this what the shit that Umla is in 99? Yeah. That's what they fucking with? Yeah. In terms of, that's why I love Born This Way. Born This Way is a song that should have been on your debut album. Somewhere higher on the, on the album. And then you have track one. What do you think of track one? Windows 22. I like Midas Touch more. That was also throwaway, bro. I like Spot as well. Let me see Spot. What's which one? Track number? Six. Okay, Spot. Run? What do you think about Run with Audio Mark? Yeah, I heard that one. Too. I like that. Yes. It's just that it was so abstract. You mm. know what I mean? And I also feel like it was. I mean, the album was sounding the same. Like, I hate to feel you like I'm You know what I was imagining boys, when I was I'm listening not. to this album? Like, live performance because of the beats. Mm. Like, these guys will kill the live performance. Properly. Yeah. Properly. But now, yeah. but now it's like. I just I just feel like they just couldn't get the 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 future Migos whoever produced this and them sound right. Yeah. Like they just mm, shut the line and jump. Especially because I thought these homies were rap 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 rap. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I met them when they did that cream even the first song they came out with I forgot But, but nobody forgot wanna hear rap 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 though. I guess I guess man But that's what I'm saying This is my review You know what I mean This you know, is not your review This is my review Shane Eagle did the rap 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 thing It didn't work Didn't work But they had something Yeah They had something I felt like they could have made it work They didn't This for me If they If they dropped every song To almost sound the same as Born This Way And explain their story a bit more Because I would have liked to know Where they've been mm. I listened to that album It was just Some of the songs were like, oh, Fuck this bitch Fuck that You know mm. blah, 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 blah. I'm just like ah, No chance I've been waiting for your story for so long and you're not giving it to me. That's why I'm saying 70% is beats. I think like 90%. You I'm can not, take it there. Like, I'm, I'm hoping okay, they don't think I'm hating. It. Let's rate it. It's tough because I only like three songs. I like I like the the the, the, the Nas song. Um, there's a bar there. I even wrote to Batsy. Batsy flowing only in Jim. Shot to Mavis. <laughs> I like that. That's fire. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's yeah. fire. That's Nas. That's a nice. I like Nas as well. It's a mm-hmm. nice song. So I only like three songs on on the eight piece. So you can give me the percentages since your math is proper. Okay, mathematically, three out of eight. What's three out of eight, gents? Percentage wise, none of the crew knows. It's crazy. It's crazy. Maths. Illiterate nigga. Maths lit. Illiterate. <laughs> That's thirty-seven point five percent. So yeah, it four out of ten. It's a four, it's, you give them a four out of ten. Mm. I'm giving them a six out of ten. All right, no hate, fellas. You know I love yeah. y'all, man. I just expected something else, and that's just me. Rashid knows what he liked about it. I love the beats. I'm still gonna bang this album. Yes, but please go out and listen to it, man. Go bump it. It's called Golden album Black, done. Album Golden done. Black, all three one representing. We appreciate y'all, niggas, man. Keep dropping that music. I'm waiting for the next one though. Or the next single. Give me something. There was no single on this album. On this album? Give me Um, a single. uh, uh, Give you a single? Yeah. That you would have chose to drop on radio. Nas. N-U-Z. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that. Mm. Because it's got that hook. (laughs) But it's only like short to Mavis. Yes. It's flowing only like short to Mavis. All right. Let's get out of here, doggy. Rashid K. I'm out like a used condom. I'm from the old school, you know me, all about the culture, like Rashid and OG. OG. Like, subscribe, and tell your whole street. Load this next episode with love for the whole team, yeah. Let's get serious yeah. for the free period. Uh-oh. And drop a link in the comments, cause we're hearing it. Shout out to OG, OG. shout out to Rash K, Rashid set a K. new standard, other bars in the ashtray. <laughs>